Hey, hey friends, so in this video, I will teach you incredibly professional things like how to make a website visible on Google search. So you have developed the website, you have built the website and now you want to, you know, uh, increase your organic traffic through search engine. So how you can make your website more visible on Google search. So I will explain today 10 ways. <clears throat> so the first way next we discuss you can submit your website to google search console so here you can see my website omabbud.online so if i want to submit this website to google search console so we can go to google.com slash webmasters and uh, here you can see google search central will open so you can uh, you know uh, you can see like Google Search Central, formerly Google Webmasters is here to help the right people view your content with resources to make your website discoverable to Google Search. So the, your website will be more discoverable to Google Search. So this is the first way. So you can get started and click on Search Console here. And now you can see I have a few websites here. So you can click here, Add Property. And here we will add the property. So we'll copy the URL and paste here. And uh, this method, URL prefix, you can use instead of domain. That is also okay, but this is a more easy process. So you can click on continue and now it's verifying property online. So you will have to explain, you have to tell them, you know, prove that you are the owner of this website. So you can upload the HTML file or you can also copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's home page. So you can copy and in the WordPress, the best and easy way you can go to plugins and you can add a new plugin. And the plugin name is, you know, insert header and footer. You can search here. Because we need to add the code in the header section. So you can use this one, this plugin that is WP code insert headers and footers plus you can also custom code snippets and there are a lot of things you can do. So we need to activate and then go to code snippets and then go to header and footer. And here you can paste the header code that we copied from here and then save changes now google can verify from you know the source code that you are the owner of this website so now i click on verify <coughs> perfect so we have successfully verified the ownership of our website so now you can go to the property so this is the first way you can use like you can submit your website to google search console so here you can in the second method you can go to uh, you can create and submit xml sitemap so for it you can install the plugin like yoast seo and yoast seo after creating this plugin you can go to like yoast seo here you can see if we go to tools for example integration settings there are different options you can see here like uh, if we go to the journal section so there are a lot of things you can see here in the settings you can see here if you search here like site map so you can see xml site map it is enabled so you you can view the xml site map here See, this is the URL of your sitemap. So what you can do, you can copy this sitemap. As I told you that you can create and submit XML. So where you need to submit. Now here you can go to the Google search console and here you can see sitemaps. So in this section, you can like paste here. Uh, this only option sitemap underscore index dot XML and here you can submit the sitemap is submitted 
and uh, you can refresh the page and you can see now it is successfully has been submitted other site map if you have you can open them and you can remove them from here for example this may be because of some plugin you know like this one so remove all site maps if you have <coughs> And just remain the one that just we created using Yoast SEO. So actually, Yoast SEO include everything like post pages and you know other other things as well. So you know the Google crawlers can see your site map and they can index your website in Google search according to the links you have in your site map like in the page we have contact and frequently asked questions pages so these pages will definitely now available on the google search so this is another option uh, to make your website more visible on google search and the third option is like use mobile friendly responsive design usually you know the websites we create using wordpress they are mobile responsive and see if you want to see you can click here and more tools and developer tools and in the developer tools you can click here and then you can use from here like iPhone you know for example see different options we have like iPhone X if I click so see the my website is now mobile responsive everything is perfect I can see you know here my navigation also and see this one the content is not overlapping on each other and it's going like you know when the user scroll down so they can see same if you see my another website for example this one here you can see the desktop version of the website and if you click here and then go to more tools and developer tools or you can use control shift i the keyword shortcut key so everything you can see here it is also responsive you know so you can see in for example iphone 6 7 8 now see see it looks incredible amazing and you know the content is not overlapping so your website 100 percent it should be like mobile responsive if you are creating from scratch so you can see like while designing the website for example elementor so elementor allows you to see the mobile version of your website improve website loading speed so for it i recommend to buy this plugin wp rocket that speed up your web wordpress website you know instantly and um, you know if you go to the pricing options so it's it has some pricing options and if you don't want to use this one if you don't want to buy this one so then you can use some plugins like i recommend you can go to add plugin section and WP Optimize is also a good plugin for this purpose. You can install WP Optimize option and uh, it is like you can see here WP Optimize. See, this is also even people are searching for WP Optimize. You can see <coughs> Google is showing versus WP Rocket. So WP Optimize also is a good plugin you can use sorry wp optimize so you can use this plugin you can activate this plugin this will you know delete cache you can also compress images you can minify css javascript pages so it will definitely boost the speed and performance of your website so this is another option you can use optimize on page on page seo titles in meta descriptions for for this, you can install Rank Math SEO or Yoast SEO. Both plugins are good. And uh, you can see, for example, in this website I have so where I write content articles related to different topics. And um, let me show you, for example, if I edit any one of this, like this one. Then Amazon finds for the ultimate at home coffee station.
so here you can see like build your dream coffee you know bar explore, explore 10 this is the meta title and description see the, the title and description so you can edit snippet here you can see the title and description you can write here if we see this like uh, you know the post the post is here and if we see the post in google search engine <coughs> so you can see it is here so it has been indexed in the google search engine so therefore it is very good option you know to use optimize on page seo use proper headings <coughs> you can see here like 10 amazon finds and here you can see and you can see here like you know i am using headings you know with each option with each paragraph so you can use h2 option so it is an incredible option it will also uh, increase the chances of your visibility in google search because this is one of the on page seo techniques optimize image images with alt tags whenever you upload the image so you should add alt tag you can see in the media library section of my website for example this one you can see the title is here an alternative text also i created like this is england versus andorra match about something so i added this one see iphone 17 pro featured so you can see here so always optimize images with alt text build quality backlinks you can use like social bookmarking directory submission you know article submission classified submission a lot of seo off page techniques and very soon i am going to start this play series this is the series also in my youtube channel so you can learn how to build quality backlinks so you can share the website on different social media platforms social bookmarking platforms and build quality backlinks use https ssl certificate see i i am using this as https now uh, the you know uh, web hosting companies usually give this option even with shared hosting so it's automatically enabled if it is not then you need to install it if you are using especially cloud hosting cloud servers so make sure you are using https improve internal linking like you can see here for example this one um, the post is about Top 10 anti-inflammatory foods you should eat daily. So here in the content of this post, you can see I wrote. And here you can see I just linked with one of my internal articles of my website. Like you can see how to eat them, eat a handful every day as a snack or mix into salad or and yogurt. So yogurt word is linked with the best time to eat yogurt morning versus night. What science says to this article? if i click here so you can see it goes to the another post another page of my website so always make sure you are using internal linking in your website so these are the 10 ways that you can use to increase your you know visibility in the google search engine i hope you have learned a lot in this video please subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends so they can learn these things, they can, you know, increase their professional skills. Thank you so much once again.